What's up everyone? Welcome to your fifth After Effects tutorial and this is a continuation of tutorial number four. I was running out of time so um, as we are just picking off from the last one I promise you guys I'm going to show you guys what these things are, these little dots and I'm going to show you guys how to use the pen tool to create keyframes. What these little dots are right here are, is the motion of your path your motion path so if you want to change the curviness of this or how straight it is you need to click these little handles and you can go ahead and drag them now these little handles act independently of one another so you can go ahead and um adjust the uh, I don't know what's called straightness of your path by um, moving it in a circular motion or you can adjust the curviness of your path by pulling it in or out so the best way to learn from those is to just play with them and another thing I want to go over these big squares right here these are your keyframes and these little dots right here those are just your regular frames these regular frames you can't really change these keyframes are the main key main major frames in your animation so these are the only ones that you can change but what if you're saying alright I want the Sammy guy to go right here I want him to go to a different point right in the middle of here well there is a way that you can do that to do that you need to use the pen tool the pen tool is very useful in adding and subtracting keyframes to add a keyframe hold down the pen tool and click add vertex now as you can see your cursor now changed to a little pen tip with a plus over it anytime you hover over the motion path and click it automatically creates a keyframe and from here you can go back to your selection tool and move this keyframe just like you could any other keyframe and of course to delete that keyframe well, let me show you guys what this does real quick remember that we had Sammy just going in a big kinda hump before now we have four keyframes he's uh, surfing looks like he's riding the wave or something so that's how we can create additional keyframes on our motion line now if we want to subtract that keyframe or delete any keyframe we just hover over the keyframe with the pen delete vertex tool and click a keyframe and it deletes that entire keyframe now as you can see Sammy's kind of jumping a little hump right now. So, all in all, that is how you use the handles to adjust the curviness and um, hump of your path, I guess it's called. I don't really know what it's called. And that is also how you use the pen tool to create additional and subtract keyframes from your animation. So, again, I hope you learned something. I hope you make sure you pay attention how to adjust the path of your mo of your um, animation, and also make sure you learn how to add and subtract keyframes. And once you learn that, you can move on to my next tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you next time.